Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the video blog series. As you can see again, I'm here with my man Rashid. It's another day, another week, uh, another moment to speak the word of food. Indeed. Food, 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 food. So, um, again, I want to start this out by saying thank you to you guys for writing in questions and joining us in on this video blog series that Rashid and I decided to do a few weeks back. Um, so, basically, we want to touch on today uh, weight loss. You know, me as a trainer, uh, Rashid had his story of, what was that? You 265. 265. Now you weigh what? 175. So, you know, we're here to talk about you guys' weight loss. I mean, everybody who embarks on a wellness journey always embarks on it first for the, uh, how should I say, the, the physical standpoint of wanting to look good and feel good in the right clothes. Summertime's coming. We want to be on the beach, you know. Whatever it may be, we all want those washboard stomachs and want to feel good. And, you know, me personally, my story from being in the fitness industry and working as a trainer for so long, and when I was younger, I competed in some natural bodybuilding contests. You know, when a lot of the times you go to the gyms or you're flipping through these muscle magazines and all these fitness magazines, um, we think that these models look like that all year round. Uh, but really, in actuality, a lot of fitness models and bodybuilders have off-seasons and on-seasons. And in the off-season, they're not lean at all. And one of the most beautiful things that I've found with this lifestyle, taking you back ten and a half years ago when I first embarked on this journey, I remember I moved into my new apartment in New York City, and uh, my roommate was a raw vegan at the time. He was a cyclist, but what I noticed was he was lean and shredded all year round. And that really intrigued me. Uh, as a person who wanted to maintain a lean physique all year round and not have one part of the year where I'm just trying to bulk up and another part where I need to lose all the fat that I gained. Because really, in actuality, to all you dudes out there that are into pumping the iron and trying to gain muscle mass, if you gain two to three pounds of muscle in one year, that's a lot. So all you guys drinking those synthetically made processed protein drinks and su synthetic made supplements and all that, a lot of the w gain, weight that you're gaining, even in that year, is a lot of water weight and just excess fat that your body doesn't even need. Okay, so that was the one thing that really intrigued me about incorporating more plant-based foods into my life was I saw that certain individuals that still were athletic uh, but were able to not bloat out and maintain a lean muscular system throughout the whole year. That really intrigued me a lot. So with Rashid dropping so much weight, I mean, that's a pure testament in its own. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I was the gym rat when I was in seventh grade. I did my first bodybuilding show in ninth grade and then one in eleventh grade. So I was always pretty much, you know, in the same body fat percentage area. I never went off by much. But Rashid, man, that, that's, that's, an, <laughs> that's an amazing story. Like, to lose, I mean, that much weight, that's crazy. And, you know, we just heard of Bill Clinton going vegan, losing weight. Iron Mike Tyson, people, Iron Mike Tyson apparently is on a 100% vegan diet and he's lost about almost, I don't even know, I heard 70 pounds or something like that. Um, so it goes to show, you know, I'm not all vegan anymore. But when you people want to drop weight and cleanse and combat certain illnesses going through your body, when you go on a pure plant-based live food lifestyle, yeah. I mean, there's really no limits as to the type of goals you can attain physically, spiritually, and just you as a person. You know, animal foods are more building. Plant-based foods by far are c cleansing, cleaning. Most live raw foods are high in antioxidants, phytonutrients, enzymes, minerals, amino acids, etc. So, Rashid, just real briefly for the people, because we don't have much time on the video, like, yeah. tell them your, you know, how, how quick did you lose all that weight, and like, you know, I mean, what was, your, what was your journey like, and when did you get to a point where you felt like, you know, your abs, and you were like, wow, like... like oh my God, um, about a year and a half. It was into a, it. It was a year and a half process, but I'd say the first three months, as I learned to lower some of my vegan fats, what I did is gave my body the option and opportunity to get rid of the old fats from all the other foods. And it was a lot of detoxing and flushing and um, running and exercising and, and just, you know, living in a, a real conscious, moving vibrational spirit is what really uh, changed that. But it reminded me that mostly in my family, some of them are 320 and, you know, 280. And you know you talk diabetics too. Diabetics, I bet, right? it's very, huge. Yeah, you know, I lost, kind of weight. I lost my dad, and you know, you know, early, you know, and for me to 
have made this change in my life that really um, show me that if we are going to find something that we could give back to our families, this is a good option because diabetic, being diabetic, and all the different things that occur out of what we eat can change and you can be a living example. I have cousins that are like, well, basically like they're 28, mm. you know, and they look like they could be my uncle, you know, but I live in a lifestyle that I don't live with age no more, you know, so, you know, when it comes to this, if you eat these conscious foods, you exercising, you realize that your body is your house, your body is your car, your body is the temple, then you acknowledge that temple by really resonating, smiling, laughing, singing a little bit, you know, filling it out. And, you know, just like really resonating in what really makes it real for you, for me, for our world. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Yeah, and, and, you know, I'm bringing it back to the, to the title of this video with fat loss and weight loss. You know, again, when you, when you eat foods that God intended, you're no longer in the mindset of I, losing weight because the foods that you're eating are pure, they're vital, your body's breaking with, down what it needs and what it does not need. There's nothing latching on into yeah. your system creating diseases because there's so much fluid in the body and just movement and alkalinity. But that's, that's what you want. So when we think about weight loss, don't just think about weight loss in terms of getting rid of fat. Think of weight loss of in the, in, uh, as from the standpoint of losing everything that's weighing you down of what you're putting in your body. It's not just, you know, what we see on the right. tummy area or right. the stomach area. Like, it's an overall loss of added weight um, and you know we're just coming at you from the food standpoint you know stay tuned in the next few blogs like we're definitely going to touch on you know losing the weight of the mental and emotional uh, gook that stays there because as Rashid knows I mean I think we could both agree on this is like you know no matter what you eat or how hard you work out if, if nothing's going right up here you know what, what, what really good is happening in your body I mean I really believe if you're having a stressful day and you're still producing acid thoughts you could say to eat a big dark green salad but that 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 salad will become acid that's if you're right. going acid in here i mean i think we agree on that right that's right so straight up with that think health think life and weight will follow think health think life and weight will follow hmm. you see live the example yes. first and everything else will follow yes this is not a weight loss program, this is not a diet, this is a lifestyle, this is a way of being, this is the way it's supposed to be, and um, it's, it's uh, I don't say it, but when you take your health into your own hands and you educate yourself about the true weight loss, it is the absolute truth. Right. And it's, you know, another way I put it, said it's like sex. Sex is the way to go. It's, it's a lifestyle. You do it again and again. <laughs> Follow the approach. <laughs> Live in it. Absolutely. Be it. Absolutely. You know so again, people, we hope you enjoyed this blog and found it informational. Again, you could check me out at www.franktortorici.com. That's T O R T O R I C I. You got Rashid at www.rashids.com. That's R A W S H E E D S dot com. Okay, I do my thing on the training tip. You can contact me. Nutrition counseling, food shopping tours some meal planning, obviously gourmet, vegan, raw, and, and, and cook vegan, internationally known artist sitting with me right here. Contact Rashid. Take your health back into your own hands, people. Stay connected. Stay true to yourself. Be in health.